Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. Today I'm taking everyone to Boredom Market in Georgetown, Guyana with me. So sit down, relax and let's enjoy this. For all those who remember Boredom Market, it used to be a great shopping area for vegetables, fruits, any kind of produce, seafood, fresh meat and lots, lots more. What I love about the market is that when you shop here, you're supporting the local businesses. People in the market work very, very hard. They come out here very early in the morning and they go home late at night. Border Market is one market that you can pass through here any hour of the night and in one specific area, you can get vegetables and fruits 24 hours a day. Hats off to all the stall holders who come out here every day and night so people can have fresh produce. When you talk about freshness, this is what it looks like. Everything is freshly picked, packed, put on a vehicle or a boat and they are sent to this market here and all the other markets in Georgetown. From Jingi to Pepper to Baigan or Balanje, Baji, any description, Lime, Pumpkin, you name them, you can find them here in Border Market. You can also find some North American vegetables and fruits here as well. These are some of the fruits I had. I didn't get to eat all the fruits that I wanted to eat, but I can say that I had many different kinds of fruit. Those who remember guinea. When we were younger growing up, we would ask someone if they want a guinea and we would say skin your lip. That was something we play around and joke around in our childhood days. These guinea was very sweet. Once I put them into my mouth, they melted right off the seed. Who remember white tea? There's many different kinds of white tea in Guyana. If you're from a different country, let me know what you call this. I know there is white tea all over the Caribbean, but there's na different names for them. White tea have a nice fluffy kind of little coating over the seed that you take off and enjoy. And these are fruits that you don't always run into in North America. But let me tell you, I had a good portion of them and I really did enjoy every single bite of it. My kids really enjoy trying all the different fruits from Guyana. Another unique thing about Guyana, both public school and private school kids wear uniform. I just miss my two nieces, they're so cute. And these are some everyday snacks that kids enjoy during their class break. Adults enjoy every now and then. There's some chicken foot, fried dal or we would say brock teeth and some hard crunchy mitai. I was so happy to run into this actor from those people, Chris Gopal, who is an actor of many, many cultural shows in Guyana. And those who remember this, this is the growth from a coconut in Wakanam. We used to call it Goja. I know different places in Guyana have different names for it let me know what you call it it's a bread like texture feels like cotton candy and a soft white bread but very sweet and delicious big shout out to my cousin sandra from Esequibo and her husband says narayan the vet i got some of the most sweet and amazing fruits from their farm Today I have here a huge ginormous soursop and you guys know that soursop is very good for us. It's a super food, a cancer fighting food and this here makes amazing milkshake and ice cream. It can also be eaten on its own and it was very very sweet as you can see. I also had some nice sweet cochrit from the Essequibo coast. It is a family from the Awara and Kuru. They all grow on a palm tree in sandy area. If you didn't have cochrit for a long time, remember I always eat for myself and eat for the YouTube family. I am so proud of Guyana for all the different kinds of fruit that we can enjoy from this tropical country. 
I'm taking the viewers for a quick sneak peek of the Massey store here in Guyana. There is many, many different locations across the country. We can find local products, foreign products, Trinidadian products, because Massey store is owned by Trinidadians. I'm shopping here at Massey's with my beautiful niece. She is showing me around the store. This is the Providence location across from the Princess Hotel. And today I went to visit two of my uncles and right behind the house is a trench leading from the river straight through the back of their yard. The breeze is beautiful here. I see many, many different kinds of birds. My uncle planted some fruit tree and vegetable tree in the back. There's a moringa tree, some banana plant and the view at the back here is just simply amazing the breeze is like sitting at the seawall and so refreshing In Guyana, pretty much everyone have a hammock in their backyard, veranda or downstairs of their house, which is so cool. I just love it. From the trees, you can tell how breezy this is. My dad, one of his brother, Matthew, Natalie, and Hannah. This is my dad and two of his brothers here in Guyana. Thank you for watching this video of Guyana. Stay tuned for many more videos to come.